Good morning. Got an interesting report coming out of RT, and I personally think that there's a little bit of reading between the lines that needs to be made here. However, um, I think there's quite a bit that can be gathered from the article, especially considering how much uh, conspiracy has been talked about in the, uh, in, oh, I don't know, the recent last couple of years or so. So let's go on over to RT. U.S. scraps airborne-directed energy weapon program, says media. Now, I have been talking about this, well, since the 90s. Uh, I've been aware of them working with lasers uh, since, I think, the late 80s, mid to late 80s. Um, they were trying ground-based systems, and then they were trying ship-based systems, and then eventually the technology moved far enough ahead that they could put units, you know, on aircraft. Um, and absolutely, and, and I think that, like, Air Force One has a laser-directed energy weapon on it, um, and obviously there's some others. However, they wanted to expand this program and use it on the battlefield. Apparently, at least for now, that's been scrapped. So as this article says, the U.S. Air Force has suspended its attempts to put a 60-kilowatt class laser weapon on the AC-130J, its close air support aircraft, the war zone said on Tuesday. The military news outlet has received confirmation that the Airborne High Energy Laser, or the AHAL, program has been scrapped directly by the Air Force Special Operations Command, or AFSOC. <laughs> we'll, we'll call them however they, uh, they look. And, and linked the decision to the retooling of the Pentagon's arsenals for potential conflicts with peer competitors such as China. Now, I want to interrupt here for a moment, and I want to throw a little bit of something up. Maybe you'll remember it. Uh, but they were going to start testing these weapons in Israel. Okay, well, more, more accurately, in, in Gaza, in Palestine. They were going to start testing these weapons. So, I'm assuming that the test didn't go over so well. I think that's partly it, and I think the reason that they give is also partly it. I don't think it's any one thing. This article goes on to say the Lockheed AC-130 is a version of the C-130 Hercules transport, which the U.S. has been using for over five decades in ground attack operations. The current AC-130J Ghost Rider version was introduced in 2015. AHEL was supposed to add a directed energy weapon to the toolkit available for the aircraft. The war zone argued that the AHEL was axed after years of delays, because the Pentagon is preparing for high-end warfare as opposed to counterinsurgency operation. The laser system was touted as an efficient way to deal with militants in an environment where the U.S. Air, support, air superiority is not challenged. The same reasoning applies to the potential removal of the 105mm howitzers from the fleet of AC-130Js, which was mentioned in the Pentagon's latest budget request, the report said. As of last November, only 17 of the 30 aircraft had received this upgrade, it added. The $849.8 billion request by the Department of Defense for fiscal year 2025 was published last week and included no new funding for AHEL, indicating its imminent termination according to the war zone. Lockheed was awarded the contract for the AHEL integration with the AC-130J in 2019 and was initially expected to commence flight testing of the weapon in fiscal year 2021. That year, the defense giant described the successful factory acceptance testing of the system as a tremendous accomplishment. After accomplishing significant end-to-end -end high power operation in an open-air ground test, the AHAL Solid State Laser System experienced technical challenges, AFSOC told the website in a statement. These challenges delayed integration 
onto the designated AC-130J Block 20 aircraft past the available integration and flight test window. AFSOC added that the program had been refocused on ground testing to improve operations and reliability to posture for a successful handoff for use by other agencies, saying any further questions should be directed to the U.S. Special Operations Command, where you won't hear anything. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it is what it is. We, um, we are struggling, if you couldn't tell. When it comes to weaponry right now, we haven't been very successful uh, on a lot of the new ventures. I mean, it's funny, been a back and forth for a little bit on a couple of different posts on Facebook about the F-35. Because there are some people that think the F-35 is like the end-all, be-all aircraft. And it's a big hunk of expensive crap is what it is. Um... There was an article released by Zero Hedge and others recently that says that, you know, some 70% of the F-35 aircraft aren't even combat capable right now. They've had nothing but issues and setbacks from the get-go. I think that program started in the mid to late 90s. 95's ringing a bell. Could be 97. Somewhere in there is when the F-35 program, the Joint Strike Fighter program, initially started and here we're sitting almost 30 years later, and, well, they finally got it to stop flipping upside down when they tried landing it. I mean, that, that, we got to give them that. Um, but the aircraft just really is not that a agile in the air. And, I mean, it's, it's got a great electronics package. It really does. But aside from that, I mean, it's, it's really basically only a one-trick pony. And there are a lot of people that get butt hurt when you talk about that. I don't know what to tell them. We have failed on a lot of projects in the last, oh, two or three decades. Um, we still haven't had a successful launch of a hypersonic missile. We, we still can't. Hell, we can't even get the Minutemans to work correctly right now. So, you know, I mean, what, what am I supposed to say? I am not going to lie. I am absolutely not going to lie just for the simple fact that the truth does not go in our favor. So anyway, I mean, it, it, is, it is what it is. I, I guess some people can sleep well at night going out there and just spreading a bunch of BS that makes them feel good. Not me. I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night at all if I did that. So keep an eye out. Um, again, I think this is coming down to a couple of things. I, I think that, you know, largely the system doesn't work as, uh, as needed or as intended, and so they're putting their eggs in another basket. So hopefully they find a basket where the eggs are good and not all rotten. Anyway, just bringing you the news. Hope you have a good day. Shalom.